Hello, I'm Steve, and welcome back to City Skylines, we, where we are building the city of Lost Heaven. Last time, we got our industry and our uh, residential and commercial almost filling up our old space in the city. We built this beautiful new highway entrance into our city, which is already being utilized by the secondary part of the highway, and our people... Uh, leaving and coming forth, filling up our area. Uh, we are going to extend a little bit out here and eventually make it over to this new beautiful patch of land up here. I also uh, want to add that the railroad comes through here, which is going to be paramount. Railroads take a lot of work to get the, um, the traffic to not be a problem with them. However, Railroad cargo transmission from one place to another or out of the city or into the city That is one of the biggest things that you're going to encounter in in Skylines I mean it brings in huge amounts of money huge amounts of demands for different things and for new zoning new industry coming in it also levels up existing industry because they finally have a place to ship out of the city all their goods that they have created. So since we unlocked the high density residential, commercial, and offices, I believe that one of the big things that we are going to do is actually uh, fill that section, this, this last section of land before we hit the highway here, with that type that type of uh, high density stuff. Now, we need to build up some more roads and grids for how our city is going to be made functional. Now, another thing we have to worry about is education. Now, I know that we need a little bit more more importantly, we need to start plopping down a university. University is going to pretty much cover the entire city for a good long time because of its capacity, because it's the highly educated, but it also is going to level up all our housing areas, which is a very important thing. Now, what I also need is probably to figure out how to maximize the infrastructure land value levels, which helps for leveling up as well. Oop. Made a little mistake in the group. And just perfecting what the city can be. So far, we still don't have any problems with the road traffic, which is great. I mean, like I said, uh, these overpasses, this whole, you know, the upgrading system that I have going right here has seemed to mitigate all the traffic. Right here, this on, uh, the, or rather, off-ramp of the main highway, on-ramp onto our secondary highway over here, has uh, gotten a little bit more traffic. However, hopefully, this new area, this new way in, is going to mitigate uh, the building up over here. The upgrades had so far done a good job, but um, I'm hoping that everything will work just perfectly with that. And so, building out a little bit more, we're going to start seeing what I want to have in this city. We're going to have a high density commercial with offices, the new offices, uh, right off of it to buffer between the high noise of industry and commercial from our new high density residentials which the high density residentials are just by and far they fill up the population demand the residential demand in no time flat you'll see the population of a city jump from say what we are right now which is roughly 7500 people to the 25,000 probably in in almost no time flat because they go so fast 
and I mean every single basic of the high density residential will house something like um, if I remember correctly like 20 different families and that's 20 entire households each and that's before they start leveling up a lot so that's all that's gonna be a huge influx of people that's going to put our roads to the test to make sure that you know my system is uh, a viable one and so far it's been working out great so I'm going to finish the last overpass we're gonna have on this side of our new highway and then start up the game again unpause it I just wanted to lay out everything before we got to it and talk to you guys about my vision for what we're going to do in this episode moreover we have increasing commercial and uh, industrial demand which is why this section of the city was going to be so very important because the offices and such are going to fill in that need and then the demand for residential is going to swoop in and be taken care of by all of this almost plays that down. Now that might be a lot for right now, but I think it's going to fill up really quickly. So let's start this up, unpause it. Uh, we also have, like I said, the different random things, uh, education, um, building a new police and fire station, maybe not a police station as much so. Uh, oh. Yep, and we also need to extend our water supply. But most likely we also will need to build another one of the advanced wind turbines. Which is always important. They're all cozy. The water availability and sewage treatment is still at a decent rate over the, uh, you know, what we need. It's over the capacity, or under the capacity. So, we are doing well. Look at them coming in, filling all these sections up fairly quickly. And the money is rolling in since all that, uh, that influx of people moving in is giving us even more tax money. So we're going to want, well, to up the, uh, I think land value will have to wait a moment. But as we look over here at the different city policies we now have as well, education boost can be important. Uh, I believe Parks and Recreation is going to be important since that ups everything that we have over here when it comes to when it comes to upping land value. I mean all these different policies work in tandem with the way this entire city is set up and I think it's it's just beautiful like how you can manage each and every every section of your city. I'm going to get smoky heights down to what is only the industrial so that we can possibly redistrict the next area. However, for right now, let's see, Bel Air, oh we don't have the heavy traffic ban. I'm going to ban heavy traffic within Bel Air. And my reasoning for that is that the commercial and residential, they don't need that type of problem. They don't need that type of traffic at all. And if somebody were to slip in there, who knows. But I'm going to tidy up these borders. Because if uh, the heavy traffic ban extended to that part of the highway, we'd be, we'd be in trouble. 
We definitely would. Now, under city planning, what else do we have? These are going to unlock in a bit once we reach 10,000 people. And see, while I was talking about all this stuff, the money has been coming in. I'm actually wondering if we can take out that small loan, which we can, which is going to set us up perfectly for what we need to level up almost everything in this city, which is highly educated people, a university. And look at that. Just go over all those homes. Everybody's thrilled that we just got that. And we can probably watch as, yep, everybody's starting to upgrade slowly as these people are starting to get an education. Uh, it's happening a lot in the commercial because now we have very educated workers for them. And what do we need over here? Educate. We probably need to cover the lower ends a little better. Yep, like the elementary schools and everything else. But see, as people are starting to... Yep, right over here, you see slowly leveling as people are getting their university uh, degrees and such. Another thing that's important is I'm going to place down another elementary but in the new section of the city so that all these homes are covered by different sections of our schooling system. We also have access now to a metro which is going to be important but it is vastly expensive and I believe that once we have battened down the hatches on all the other uh, little things, you know, infrastructures, land values, everything else, then we'll deal with the metro. Because as for now, uh, our, you know, traffic is still good. It doesn't seem that the influx has affected uh, its capacity to handle this all. Oh. That was a one-way, almost, almost placed a one-way by accident. And look at these big homes getting built over here. We're going to probably want to work out some land value uh, buildings as well in order to level up these very, very lucrative uh, apartment buildings, offices, and such. Now, why are you abandoned? Let's see, not enough educated workers. Hmm. Oh, yes. This is why we were building this whole new area right here. Do not worry, my, you know, my people here in commercial and offices and such. We're getting more people. Trust me. These high-density residentials are going to just pour in new people into our city. And speaking of new people, new problems. We're going to have to deal with all of this. We're going to need a new fire station on this side of the uh, of the roads, this side of the highway. Yeah, as you can see, some of them are, you know, dealing with it. They're starting to fill up again. However, since it affects land value, and it might have been just an oversight that I built so much before the residents could actually start coming in, going to school, learning, and then get the job. I'm gonna just do a few things with this so that they can recover their land. And new blood can move in. I think I accidentally bulldozed somebody who was actually still working. <laughs> No mind.
Once the demand goes back up, they will fill in those sections and it won't be a problem. Okay, so we're getting up there. I think what we need to do is raise a little bit of the land value. Oh, somebody's asking for water, actually. Actually, why are you asking for water there? Huh. Disappeared. Seems it wasn't actually much of a problem. Yeah, because they have a steady supply of water. And the availability in sewage treatment, even though it's getting close there, it's not... You know, it's not too bad. It's not over uh, yet. Now, we're going to put in a little bit more power, obviously, for all the people who have just moved in. And that should suffice them. And another thing that I might be worried about is the trash. However, they're doing great with their system of recycling and, uh, and the three landfills that I set up. However, what we want to do is put in incineration plants. Incineration plants are a huge thing for any city once they reach the level that this one has. They provide a way to get rid of the garbage effectively. And on top of this, supply even more power into the power grid. Once it starts burning, it's going to output a ton of megawatts. I mean, not a ton ton, but a really good amount while simultaneously cleaning up the whole system. So that is going to be a really good, really good start here. The money is going to start coming back in as demand and everything else go up residential uh, demand is going back up a little bit and we have finally reached a small city of 10,000 now this is a huge thing we have the high-tech housing the industrial space planning big business benefactor small business benefactor these policies are huge in the effect of making money this doubles the goods and in industry creates. This doubles the sales that both low density and high density commercial makes. We get trains, we get level six unique buildings, and we have the train stations and hydro plants. This is a very big milestone for any city in city skylines. Now, I'm going to build this new section over here, but first off, what I want to do is institute all these additions into our city, because that is just an important, important uh, situation to raise our revenue, to make our people and businesses happier, and you'll see the income in our budget, our weekly income just skyrocket once uh, those policies have fully gotten their uh, their legs in here. Now, it's already shot up a thousand and is going up steadily. So there is no worry at all. People are building higher and higher tier, uh, high density residentials and there is a huge demand so I'm going to fill that demand as quickly as possible in order to make sure our businesses stay uh, afloat see this is weird what is going on with this one building here not enough water I don't know how it's not connected to the grid but apparently it's not. Did did you guys even see a break in the grid right at that like the only house? I don't know what, but you know, you guys get personal. Now these guys are actually disconnected. But uh that one house, that one section gets some personal attention. 
since apparently they couldn't get uh, much in the way of water. Now, as for education, we definitely need another school. Since the first one I built in this section is up top, we're going to build this one further down here. Because there are a lot of people in this section of the city who are going to need that uh, elementary education. We're going to scoot down here, build yet another one right down here. And we are just over the need. However, that's going to increase steadily. As for high schools, uh, I believe building one right on the edge here will do a lot of good for this section of the city. It's like this section of Bel Air is going to be almost completely separate from this new section, which we have yet to name, but I assure you, I will uh, think of something interesting. Right now, I'm actually more concerned about raising all these land values and causing the upward momentum of this city's uh, income, its, uh, its people in general. Because the more people I get to move in, cover this, this first section, the more budget I'm going to have to work with when I move to the other side of the other side of the, uh, the highway. So that's going to do a bit to help. And good placement of this. We'll do a good bit to help up here. Oh yeah, look at all that blue popping up. So we're seeing a lot of upgrade right around here. And the demand so far is not actually there. Why? Because we have still yet to build some of the services. The services are going to be huge. Uh, first I wanted to lay down the groundwork and as you can see, our income, our weekly income, has more than doubled, which means that all of this is going to just charge in money so that we can build up all the services we need, not worry about the budget and everything else, at a much better pace, really. In fact, not that loan is far from being done so far but we're already up to 30,000 and what we need for the new fire station is going to be 60,000 once it's built I'm sure that all these are going to start leveling up because if we check what does it say educate more citizens it's still about education I mean I don't want to leave the entirety of this section uncared for in the fire department way. Yeah, it's elementary schools. It's always the elementary schools because they have such a small capacity. Now, one thing that I've heard from a lot of the different, you know, YouTubers, streamers, is that they wish that there could be, like, um, an upgraded elementary school, like a big elementary school. Which I wholeheartedly agree. I think that if they could have like an upgraded elementary school that can cover a little bit more people, even if the, the section of the city, the coverage area, isn't changed at all, just making one that's a little bigger would help a lot. We have enough for the fire station, and I'm just telling you right now, don't get mad at me, this is what I want to build first. This is by far, in my opinion, uh, probably the most important thing that we set up. I'm going to build it pretty close here to the industrial section, which, you know, they always have a bad situation when it comes to fire. Uh, and I'm going to build just a small outlet down here. And see, everybody's perfectly happy that they're covered now. Now I can build that other 
uh, elementary school. I believe we're going to start seeing all these people leveling up and doing a brilliant job of it. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this. Now we have 16, 12 people. They want educated, uh, educated kids. I can't blame them. So we're going to help them out there with their demand and shove in, shove in this elementary school on this side. And Bel Air is going to get some more of its own. Our high, high-end people over in the villas and such of Bel Air will uh, get another school right here. Look at that level of uh, elementary education going up. Our budget is actually at 12,000 weekly. Now it's over 12,000 weekly again. The, the fact that our students are coming in, getting educated, and going all the way up to the universities, uh, where we have plenty of you know, capacity is working out in the favor of everyone involved. Businesses, um, okay, now we're going to need to build a new pump. Now the water is actually getting low. And we've actually worked off of, uh, these two pumps for a while now, which I'm, you know, it's impressive. I am impressed by the ingenuity of this single little line of pumps. I don't know why that did not connect properly. Is it good now? Yep. And we're going to need another drain right about here. And that automatically connected. Perfect. So our sewage treatment and water availability is great now, and the money is just pouring in. What do we need again? I believe, well, we're going to need another elementary school, of course. We've reached big city where crematoriums and water treatment plants are a thing, and that is going to help out a lot. Uh, I believe our trash situation, we're going to need another incinerator. Most likely a good idea. In fact... Oh, that's because we're going at slow speed. Yeah, this... This way in might be having a problem. I might have to upgrade it soon. Which means I literally have to buy this section of land just to deal with that. But I'm wondering how many unlocks do I really have? I have those two, which I need, and I can I can do this just for the convenience of the bottom area of our city. Because building a whole bunch of windy roads and everything else on top of this is not going to really rectify the situation. It's building smart, not building a lot, that I think helps. So we're going to upgrade some of these sections here and just have them streaming in. As you can see now, they're not having a problem really. Oh yeah. Over here, we might need... Might need to upgrade this. That slope's too steep. Actually, I have an idea here. Now, this created the slant needed to place it right next to the other. And I didn't end up cutting the power line. And I believe now there's actually enough room, uh, indeed there is, to upgrade that. And now everybody's flowing a little bit differently. Hmm. 
I am gonna work on this. Well, at the moment, I still think it's not as big of a problem. Our problem down here has been completely solved, it seems. Uh, that one overpass is a little bit clogged up, though. That is the one problem I can see. However, I believe when more and more starts coming through this section, when we build on the other side, it'll be... It'll be a little bit different, yeah. We'll, we'll have it, we'll get it all settled out. So far, that is hardly the congestion I would find a problem. There's no backups here, there's no backups here, there's just a stoplight that is creating a momentary backup until it turns green and everybody starts flowing in and out. So, realistically, I don't think that's going to be a problem long term. I can fix that easily. So we're going to build a little bit more of that. There's a lot of industrial demand, so we're going to fill those last sections up here. And I believe that's about it for this side of the city. Need some more elementary education, as it seems, yet again. Uh, since we're not going to build any closer to the highway, this section is basically open for the taking and to use to improve the services of this city. So now our elementary is actually over what it needs to be, thankfully enough. And our high schools are down below. I'm going to put this a new high school right next to here. Another one, since it shows that there's a lot of need over here, I'm going to put the new one right over here. And now we have enough high school capacity. So we have enough high school capacity, elementary capacity, and university capacity is way over what we actually need. And it seems that people are reacting very well to it, because I see all these green arrows, the leveling ups, the lack of uh, those need-educated workers, but you can hear that. Ding, 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 ding. Our budget is perfectly good where it is. It is well over, uh, you know, what what is comfortable even. It's nice, where we're making... 16,000 and we have over a hundred thousand to just spend as we need so I'm going to place down another park uh, well carousel park seems to be doing really well uh, it increases a lot of land value exponentially so if I put it there yeah we're seeing a lot of improvement uh, the people down in this section of the city don't seem to mind if I build something close raise their land value I think that's about where we're gonna stand on the parks for just this moment anyways people are moving in loving the new land value and our water's good, our electricity. See, don't don't get ahead of yourself. I know, I understand. You guys are itching for me to start building the uh, the railroads, building on the other side of the highway, all that other stuff. Right now, I know that that is a must. That is something that I really have to concentrate on. However, I want to make sure that the rest of our city is very well taken care of. Something like these. I need another cemetery in the city, and I understand that. Uh, we're going to probably place it on this area of land that we don't necessarily need for building new homes. And look, made everybody happy. We're going to need some crematoriums to make sure that all of this stays as needed. 
and crematoriums make people very happy. They bring down all the uh, the needs for cemeteries because they are where we're going to deal with the dead bodies that aren't necessarily we don't necessarily want to fit in all of our cemeteries. This land fills full, but we have plenty of incineration uh, capabilities. Oh yeah, like they don't have nearly the capacity in their reserves that they could have. So emptying this out so that people can start, you know, using it again as the incinerators uh, wear away at it. It's perfectly good. Uh, there is some needs over here. I don't necessarily too few services. What does it need? They probably need a hospital, honestly. Which I am more than happy to provide to this start of the or this side of the city. Which I think I will place right in here. Grand City, 20,000 people. I did not see the huge swath, but it seems that that has worked out. Now, what are they? Oh, yeah. It's, I don't even know why I did that. I was just trying to see what was going on there. The police force is good still. What services do they need, necessarily? I'm not quite sure. Uh, to be completely honest, I have no idea what they need. Because they have health care. Now, they have the fire station keeping care of them. They have police, which seems to... I mean, there's only a 9% crime rate. The garbage seems to be well taken care of. Um, uh, I mean, the high school's not going to affect the industry, guys. Uh, but, it seems that we may need another high school for the capacity. There you go there. Okay, I think we're well off. We are fairly well off. Uh, and our budget, everything else, it's our weekly incomes reached around 20,000. I believe this, as any part of, uh, of the episode, is a good place to stop since we have reached Grand City. We have done very well with the requirements that this first area of the city uh, needed. We've instituted very profitable policies, and we have laid the foundation for all the income we need to do whatever we need to with the next section of the city without having to pinch pennies. And so I will see you next time. So, as always, would you kindly subscribe if you could, like if you would, and I'll see you next time on City Skylines.